thinking about moving to Florida, you probably have seen a lot of the stuff online, the newer construction here. That's typically those, those brown box style neighborhoods that we're so unfortunately known for. But if you're looking for something maybe with a little bit more character, maybe you should consider moving downtown Orlando. There's a lot of cool places coming here and I'm gonna show you a few of those today. The Packing District, the Hourglass District, College Park, and just sort of different areas that you probably haven't seen before. So stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna to start today's tour off with the packing district, which is, in my mind, a lot of fun to see come together because if you took a look where this is at, this is like Princeton and John Young Parkway, and they're basically taking all of this old development land, this industrial land, and repurposing it into office and commercial and residential. There's over 3,500 units coming to this area. It's a lot of fun to kind of see. But 100 years ago, a lot of this land used to just be basically orange groves, and then eventually it turned into industrial. And then back in like the mid 90s, they annexed it over into the city of Orlando. Now the Dr. Phillips Charities is going to be investing over over $700 million redeveloping this entire area into residential, commercial, a little bit of industrial, and a lot of retail. It's very cool. So over to my left is the Bricks by Toll Brothers. It's a townhome community of about 135 townhomes. They're gonna be three stories and really bring a whole different facade to these properties that are very different than what you see in Orlando. The other thing I love about Toll Brothers is they have really great finishes inside. And so these properties are gonna start right in the mid fours and kind of go up from there. It's an opportunity to invest in the area before anything else comes around. So where did they get the name the packing district? Well, this whole area used to be really industrial and helped support the orange grove industry here in Orange County. Well, that's obviously since gone, but they're trying to bring in some like little nods to the packing district for the area, like the old juice stand that used to be here that used to actually sell juice from the industry locally. Uh, they, tore it, they tore it down some years ago, but now they're bringing a replica model in and actually going to be selling juice there again. And so I think it's a pretty cool little nod to the history of the area. So what else is going on in the packing district? So you've got 3,500 other residential units. You've got the Canary over here, and that's gonna be apartments only for rent. Uh, but then you've got a lot of other retail and commercial. There's over $700 million in investment. And one of the things that I think they're doing a really great job is, is John Rivers from Four Rivers is doing this whole like four routes where they're doing sustainable farmers markets in the area. And there's actually already running farmers markets, farmers markets on the weekend, just to sort of kind of show you what's coming to the area. And so when you bring this like nod to old history, beautiful architecture, something a little bit different than Orlando hasn't seen, I think the area is gonna do extremely well. So as we're talking about different areas in the downtown Orlando area. So you've got the packing district, which is really kind of connected right over to College Park and take a look at some of these houses. The reason I love College Park is you've got these beautiful canopy trees, these like mid modern century homes all the way up to estate size houses. And so College Park's beautiful. You've got, you know, smaller homes, they're really good quality. There's really no new construction unless you find a teardown. Uh, I think it's a cool Cool, cool vibe. So one funny thing is in College Park, there's actually no colleges here. I mean, it's funny, uh, most people think maybe Valencia's here or UCF, but it's actually that a lot of the street names in 32804, which is the zip code kind of for College Park in Orlando, they're named after colleges like Harvard, Yale, Dartmouth, and that sort of thing. All right, so where are like the packing district and College Park, where are they located? So you're gonna be west of I-4 and you're maybe just like five minutes from downtown Orlando, 12 minutes from Winter Park. And so a lot of times what I have people that are looking for those like older, nicer homes that maybe you're priced out of Winter Park, I suggest College Park a lot to people because you can get that like older vibe of Orlando and still have a really nice community to be a part of.
All right, so the second area I wanted to talk about was the Hourglass District. Now, it's not nearly as big as the Packing District, but I think it's really cool what they're doing to develop some of these old buildings over here in 32806. We're right at Curry Ford and Bumby, and you've got a Foxtail Coffee, you've got Mexican street food, a vegan place, Italian, you got Hourglass Brewing right behind us, and so it's a really cool place in the city that you can kind of hang out. A lot of the homes in the area are also getting to turn over as well. You have some of these homes that were built in the 60s, 70s that are all block construction. It's a really cool place if you're looking for one of those sort of quintessential downtown spots. couple other areas that I love watching develop are like the Delaney Park area, the Thornton Park area, and even just the rest of College Park. It's pretty amazing to see some of these older houses have a ton of life revitalized into them. You've got obviously Winter Park if your price range is a little bit higher, some of these older houses that have been completely remodeled, or some of the teardowns. And if you take a look at some of these shots as we're driving around here, you've got apartment buildings going up left and right. So whether you're looking to rent or you're looking to purchase, there's going to be something for you. moving to the area and you're looking for something a little bit outside of the ordinary kind of new construction communities, we have a lot of options for you. I'll be completely honest, I'm falling more and more in love with my city every single day on the amount of development and the cool people like you moving here. So if you're looking to buy or sell a house anywhere in Central Florida, my team and I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So make sure you reach out at info at posicgroup.com. And then before you leave, hit the subscribe button as we're putting out new videos about life here in Central Florida every single week. We'll see you guys on the next video.